I created an AI program that trains these agents to avoid obstacles and evolve their ability to navigate a virtual environment over a number of generations using machine learning. An agent is defined as an entity that takes sensory input and produces outcomes that affect its environment. In this case, the agent has five collision sensors and two motors to move left and right. The brain of agent is represented by a neural network. The input nodes of the neural network are agent's sensory values and the output nodes control the force applied to its left and right motors. The weight of connections determines the impact of each sensor on the agent's movement. The process of learning involves adjusting the weight and the structure of connections in the neural network. The training process is done through trial and error and evolving the neural networks by using a technique called NEAT, which stands for the Neuroevolution of Augmenting Topologies. This method encodes the required information about the neural network structure inside genes. It uses a genetic algorithm to allow a network to evolve by finding the best topology and connection weights for the neural network. Initially, a population of agents is created with some random weights for their neural network. They move in the environment and their performance is measured using a fitness function calculated based on the number of collisions it has and the size of area it explores. After some time, a new generation of agents is spawned based on the best performing ones of the last run. This process continues until the agents evolve and learn how to avoid obstacles. Notice how most of the second generation agents are either rotating around the same area or colliding with the walls. The green color highlights the area visited by the best performing agent. By the third generation, we start to see more agents learning to explore further than the central base and have less collisions. However, the agent is still not good with the sharp turns and it gets stuck in the corners. The agents in the fourth generation are getting better in navigating the maze, but they are a bit slow when turning to avoid the obstacles. Also, they have problems navigating through a narrow pathway. The graph in the right side of the screen shows the best agent fitness of each generation in blue and the average fitness in the gray color. As you can see, the best fitness and the average fitness has increased over each generation. The neural network structure of the best performing agent is also shown at the top right corner of the screen. In the fifth generation, we have agents that can pass through the narrow pathway but they are very slow when navigating there and some still get stuck. If you notice some agents have learned to avoid obstacles by simply going round in circle near the base and this is not an optimal solution. By adding a ball in the middle we can stop this behavior because when these agents hit the wall, their fitness would be measured as a lower value and they would be eliminated from the next generations. Finally, in the seventh generation, we can see this agent that has learned to move and navigate quickly and pass through the narrow pathway with the best fitness so far. We can improve the performance of these agents in exploring more area 
by adding memory to the agents and discouraging them from visiting areas that have been already visited. This would be a topic for another video though. For more information regarding this project, visit the link in the description. Follow this channel for content related to AI and software development. Thanks for watching.